Today, I'm going to be doing something I've always wanted to do. That's terrible. Today, I'm going to be cutting the roof off of my Jeep and replacing it with the roof. So in another video, I built this roll cage and I left this big wide gap in the open. And that's because I was planning on cutting my roof out. And I'll be able to remove it and take it off at will, put it back on. Because when I'm out wheeling and it's nice weather, just the windows down isn't enough sometimes. So I want to be able to just take this top off. Be a real jeeper. Just kidding, we're not doing it like that. None of that stuff would be very good to catch on fire. Now, it's time to take the seats out. Let me show you something. Previous owner had issues with rust, and I still have those issues, but they added this bolt. This isn't the factory bolt, and it goes all the way through to a nut on this side. So here's the nut that they added. Here is the original bolt. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to address that in a future video. Let's do the other side. Okay, so I think we'll just cover the carpet since I don't really want to pull the center console. Not like there's much holding it in anyway. Okay. Whatever, whatever I do, I have to be able to make the lip that it seals to, to it. There's really nothing to measure off of. I went the center of this line. Why would I need this? I wouldn't. That's why. Intriguing. So originally I was just gonna end it above the back seat, but I kind of just want to run it full length now. So we're gonna go four inches. Then I want to go center of this which is three inches, two and a half inches off of that. So we're gonna do five and a half, because that's a healthy number. Might be the worst idea I've ever had. So this is the tool I'm gonna be using. There should be no sparks. Super noisy though. Okay, remove the level. Ah, hold on, put the level back. So I forgot to cut this section underneath. Okay, back to cutting. for drawing and explaining stuff. So I've pulled the roof off. 
Now I need to put it back on. That's what I need to figure out next. So I need some way to clamp it down and keep it weather tight so no rainwater gets in. If this is the roof, I want to build a C channel. That'll be on around the perimeter of the piece I just took out. On the Jeep side, I'll have round rod. So I'm gonna put a gasket in here. And when I push these two together, that gasket is gonna seal on this round rod, which is attached to my Jeep like Make sense? Still under it. Okay. If you didn't understand that drawing, I have the pieces here that I'm going to be using. I don't have C-channel, so I'll be making that from this square tubing by cutting off one of the edges. Is once that bottom edge is gone, I'll be able to nestle that in there perfectly, and I'll be able to clamp those together. This is the gasket that I'll have in there that'll be crushed to weatherproof it, essentially. Better? Better. Cool. So now you can see. Come here. So if I put this gasket weather seal in there, and then when this comes down onto the round, it will crush that seal and hopefully make it watertight. So it's getting really late and it's time to go to bed. We'll be back in the morning. I need to pull this out though, so, because I got other stuff. I gotta get the roof off again, make some adjustments to it, weld up things that I haven't, and then put it back on and go test it. So that's what I'm doing right now, is pulling the roof off. So one of the tweaks I have to make is when I take it off, it's a bit of a struggle. So I gotta lower one of these edges so it'll slide on and off without catching. So I'll, I'll grind that down next. I built this cross piece to mount my latch system to, just like that. Uh, now I just need to weld it in. I'm happy with how the roof is, so I'll be putting some primer on it. Good morning. Today we're gonna go test out my roof mod, I guess you could call it. And like any good adventure, we're at Maverick. We're gonna go find something to eat because it's breakfast time. We made it to the trail. I'm gonna unload the Rudicon and it's a nice day, so I'm gonna pull the top off. Perfect test. There we go. Well, this is a different view for sure. Let's go. It's kind of bright, not gonna lie. <laughs> Definitely should have brought a hat. Weather is fine today. So 
I got an excellent excuse to go out wheeling today. My brother from Montana is down. This is Carl. Carl's got his forerunner and his girlfriend. So yeah, yeah, I've got a '99 Toyota forerunner and just here to run some trails with Rudy. Well, speaking of trails, we're to the walking portion. It's locked. However, will I get in? Not bad, not bad. That was a pretty successful test, if I do say so myself. I'm gonna leave the roof off of it because as expected, I got a little dusty and I just want some of that dust to blow out. Thanks for watching. Let's keep going.